Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I recognize a lot of you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Who's ready for some more Greg Tech? <laughs> Y'all ready? Good, good. It's been a while. It has been a while since the since the uh, last live stream. Hi everyone. That accent? What accent? There's no accent here. Alright, let's not uh let's not waste any more time. We've got some time to make up. Think We good? I think we're good. Yeah, we're at four days almost about to hit five hours. Four days, five hours. <clears throat> it's your first time watching the stream? Welcome, welcome. Getting me hooked on Minecraft again? It always has a way of pulling you back, somehow. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Stop. Well, um... Yeah, we got our processing arrays last episode. What is this? Yeah, I added this one. <laughs> I already forgot here. I added this one on the end here for circuits. We have three EV assembly machines in there. So this can only make one, twos, and threes. The tier fours and fives we still have to make in the IV one. But at least that takes the strain off that one assembly machine there. Just with your videos of the series, your enjoyment of the pack is through the roof. Oh yeah. <laughs> you could say that. Clearing out the massive outdated pit. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Unpin everything. Oh, you can hold it. I didn't realise that. Okay, we've got a blank... A blank canvas. So the first thing I want to do is just clean up around here. We got rid of this, right? Yeah, we can get rid of all this stuff. We're going to claim some robot arms back, stuff like that. And then I think we're going to jump straight into assembly machines, or the assembly line. Sword of the Cosmos? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have it within the hour, don't worry. And this one can also go. Be cool if you could take a look at Dragon Realm mod pack. I'm not familiar with that, to be honest. Oops. Give me the cable back. Uh, what is this, lathes? I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have lathes yet, so we'll have to add an, a PA for lathes. Actually, let's just get that crafting. Uh oh. Did it do this thing again? Yeah. I have no idea why that happens. Maybe we have to lower the timer on this, on this reset. It should stay on by itself now. Yeah, there we go. Can we have some kaboom here? No. <laughs> no explosions. No explosions here. 
What's the next mod pack you're gonna play? I have a few ideas, but nothing I'm ready to share yet. I was working on some stuff yesterday. But we still got a while to go here in Nomi Factory, so... Uh, can we get rid of all this? Oh. That's way too many patterns to deal with. Yeah, we can get rid of all this stuff. Keep crafting processing arrays. We may have to add one for... For tungsten as well. For tungsten processing. Just join, what did you miss? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> we just got started here. Okay, so all this stuff can go. Oh, that's going to be so many patterns. Don't need any of them. Are you doing your own mod pack? No, I'm not doing my own my own mod pack. I wouldn't know where to start to be honest. <laughs> it sounds fun. A lot of people are doing their own mod pack though. But no, I don't have any plans to do that at the moment. Oh, I missed one. So many clicks. There's going to be a lot of clicks today. Have you tried Faithful 32? I have tried Faithful 32 many, many years ago, back when I first started playing Minecraft. Like, I don't know, 2014, 15? But I've not tried the modded version. Ah. Uh. Why do we keep running out of power? All the mods 3. Isn't that a one te a one seven pack? I don't know why this keeps happening here. Uh, we need lanes. How many do we have? We already have eight, so we need another eight EV lathes. Yeah, easy. Not easy, because we don't have power on these guys now. Why did I take that down? <laughs> Wait, what is it? End steel? Okay, do we have... We don't have a space for it already. Okay, so we need two CEFs. No, one CEF, two energy hatches, IV, hi soul, input bus, output bus, MV is fine, robust tungsten steel, let's get like 20 of these. There's also the access interface, which is new. This wasn't here before, but it's just an added circuit. I don't know why they've done this, to be honest. 
just to separate it. It has been a while since the last stream. I think it was... I think it was last month at some point. GTNH. Okay, I think things are getting stuck. Maybe? Is this actually working or what? <laughs> I think it should be in this one, right? Oh, I see what's going on here. Ah. Uh. I think this probably means we need a bigger input boss. get like HV. Yeah, we need a bigger input bus. Maybe, maybe even bigger than HV. What's been your favorite mod pack series? I think probably Divine Journey 2, to be honest. Also suggest putting the interface right on the input bus. Yeah, that would probably fix it as well, right? It just means we can't have as many patterns per... I mean, I guess we can add a second input bus. That's... I think that's probably the solution anyway. Wait, what was it doing with tungsten cable? Was it this machine casing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is going on here? Wait, this goes with EV, right? Yeah. Okay, what do you still need to craft that input bus? An HV machine hole? Oh, what a mess. What a mess. <laughs> Did you ever make a tutorial for 82? I've never actually uh, made any tutorials before. Okay, let's just try request this again. Did I put the pattern away? I didn't plug it in. Never plug it in. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on with these. Do you work? Yes. I think we fixed our problem here. Transistors. <laughs> I got it, miss. I did, I got it. I'm gonna cancel everything. Okay, make like twelve of these, and we'll swap them all.
That probably wasn't a good idea while it's running. Okay. This, this here. Apparently we have some doubles. That's not good, that's not good. Okay. Our lathes are finished. Let's get our uh, robust tungsten steel. Process an array. Craft two more. This guy's gonna go here. We need an access interface. I think I cra I cancelled that before. Oh, I love how, ev how quickly everything crafts now. Hey Stefan, I'm doing really good today. Why is this stuck now? Oh, this is probably done in IV, right? Yeah, it's just this guy's speed. You have your prompt today, but you can't miss the live. <laughs> No, you only get one problem though. Kind of. I've never been to a problem though. Okay, output bus. And we're one off. I always do that. here. This should be input bus. Double energy hatch and caissons. Okay. These we don't need. We need a fresh anvil. I think I broke the other one. In fact, can we make the dark steel one? This is going to last a lot longer. Lathe PA. That is the input bus, right? Yeah. Oh, you're still crafting circuits. If you want a neat trick, you should try a ray mode. Yeah, I use that for our assembly lines. That's that's so nice. A ray mode is so nice. Oh, there's nothing really we can do to speed this up at this point anyway. Unless we cancel this, it's going to instantly craft, yeah.
Okay, how's the CEF doing? Did that finish? Yes. And the energy hatch? Okay, we just have to transfer all the patterns over and I think... I think we're golden. We can get rid of all these. I need the expansion card. Nice. One more to add to our collection. Steal the lanes here as well. First time you caught the live stream after binge watching your playthroughs. Hey, thank you. I hope you have a nice day as well. Missed the recipe. Let's go here. I don't know why I have Neodymium here. Oh, that must be from the, the recipe that got stuck. Okay, is there any other processing arrays we want to grab right now? How's our tongue state looking? Zero. So maybe we do want one for tongue state. Have you paid your PPC production? Not yet. I don't think that's really necessary at this stage, right? Because, I mean, we're capped. We're not, we, we're not in need of more polymer clay right now. We will at some stage, though. We do need more tongue state though, and we get this from which micro miner? Remind me. No, not lithium. Tier two. Okay, let's send like ten tier twos. Yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get blast furnaces up and running early, and there's a few, for example. Uh, Nequada I would like to rush for. And Draconium. And Enderium. Yeah, these three. I, w I really want to rush for this. Which means doing the assembly line first. Yeah, so the assembly line. Where do we even start with this? This is going to be easier than last time though because we have the expansion interface thingy. Where do we want to run this here? No, we'll, we'll move it over one. Just set the microminer to craft tungsten. I I don't I don't really like doing that. I don't think that's the way to go, to be honest. Plus we can get it from endstone. We do have endstone centrifuge and set up, it's just not quick enough. It's only in one EV. Okay. Okay, to start we need fluid interfaces. We need an applied energistics interface, we need item lasers. And an actual additions interface. And no network power. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> 
Does anyone have a way to fix this, by the way? I'm not sure. EIO power monitor? Does the EIO power monitor actually read the reactor though? Place this here. I can't go there. It has to go down a block. Live into the music. Our monitor reads the cable. Oh, that that makes things quite simple. Yeah, I'm gonna set that up then. Okay, let's do that in a sec. Can we put two lasers? Yeah, we can put two lasers right next to each other like this, right? This should be our output bus, correct? Interface on here. Has to be the small interface though. And this we just run back. I think that should work, right? So long as we, oh yeah, we have to give this power. Uh, we need an LUVCEF. Did you play No Clarity? Let me see if I can find it. You like that one? <laughs> Our AE system's out again. I can't find this song. It's gonna come on at some point. Okay, maybe we do need the power monitor right now. Okay, it's been a while since I've messed with this. Okay. I might have read some signal when... Less than... 30% full and greater than 80% Does that work? Storage is total network storage. Yeah, the conduit buffer storage, you mean. That still should be okay, though, because everything is powered off this one conduit network. Needs more connections. We have, we have eight connections here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight connections. And the conduits are per connection, right? So th this should work, I think. The better, en the better energy conduit at this stage, I think, is superconductor. I could be wrong on that. But that's not something we can get until after draconium. Okay, so we want these quantum processor mainframes. We need solar and alloy. Which we don't have on passive yet. Solar and alloy is antimony plus tin. Are we getting antimony? Kind of. We get this from... Is it tetrahedrate? Or stibnite? Is it stibnite? Where do we get antimony? Hey, RKS. It's Stibnite. Is Stibnite one of the microminers? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's set up some alloy smithers regardless though. We have some HV already. And we'll, we'll need a fluid extractor. Oh, it's so rapid to, to craft everything. You can buy enough. Yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing. Okay, we don't need you anymore. Do we need you? No. MV is fine. Item filter. Oh, this is one that the smart filler should work on, right? No. So we need tin and antimony. It'll be antimony dust. I think we can do dust though. That's not what I meant to do there. Keep exact. Oh man, I love these robot arms. There we go. Do we need solar and alloy for anything else? In item form, I mean. Don't we need the fine wire, or is this just just in GTNH? Does anyone remember? <laughs> I think it's just in GTNH we use this, right? For the... What is it called again? For maintenance. But we don't need this for anything, as far as I'm aware, right? Liquid only, okay. So we don't need to buffer. Uh, 
and fluid storage. Let's try to find out where our bottlenecks are here. Maybe, maybe steel pipe? PA for that though is probably not worth it at this point. Okay, that should be plenty at least to get started. What is next? What else don't we have out of this? Yeah, you guys remember this recipe? In uh, the recipe for the pattern terminal? In GTNH that is. It took us like 50 episodes to get this thing. Look at it here. <laughs> Just a tier 4 circuit. Like this is nothing. Yeah, Quantum Star, you're right. You're right about that. We don't have the Quantum Star. We also don't have HSSG frame. And I know that is going to be a lot of patterns. What's this? Invar? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have rod recipe. Let's grab that. And we also don't have a plate recipe. Lock and cut into plate. And lathe was the last one, I think. It's actually our last slot. Okay, what else? I think just the Quantum Star, right? Let's fix this problem. You watch or read manga, I don't. We already have raid on here. Let's just get a flu another fluid interface for this. We could have probably gotten away with that LV one there. So it's radon. And nether stars? We can use this interface. No need to buffer that much, it's a slow recipe. Import. Plug it in. <laughs> So many tools, I know, I know, I know. I was going to place a drawer for this, but since we only have the one machine, let's just do a machine controller. How many do we want to buffer of this? How often do we use quantum stars is the question. Why make them passive? Why not make them passive? We have passive nether stars and the recipe is 96 seconds so it's not something we want to wait for. And I don't think it's also worth to set up a PA for. 
So there's not really any reason not to set this up passively. Yeah, we do use a fair bit for the field gens, and this is used in tier 7s. So probably, yeah, we'll start with 64 right now. And then extract blue. Very good. Yeah, that's at HV. We're doing that at EV, so we get a slight overclock. Okay, do we have everything for the mainframe at least? I think we should, right? Yes, we just have to configure our assembly line. The only thing we, I think you wish we had in GTC is the disassembler. Yeah. <laughs> So this needs solder and alloy fluid here. I'm just embracing spaghetti at this point. We're not doing aesthetics here. <laughs> That's for the next playthrough. I mean, we still want organization, but we don't want Okay, everything else except... Did I encode that CEF IV, LUV? No, I didn't. I think that's when the power went out, right? LUV CEF. We can do the 4 amp version, right? Yeah. This needs a pattern upgrade later, so we put it here. LUV 4 amp. Perfect. Oh, we do need Signalum Energy Conduits here. You know what, it would have been better if we just ran it across here. Do here instead. Unfortunately, power has to be in the top with this. Are you done? Yes. Wait, this has happened once already before. LUV, LUV. <laughs> Any tips for the early game? Um, please explode. No, what are you talking about? We don't want explosions here. Tips for the early game, yes. Start farming rubber wood. Pick up glowstone from the Lost Cities Dimensions. Um... Make use of capacitor banks. Believe the assembly line is shapeless in this? Yes, you're right about that. Hey Teske. I appreciate that. Okay, if we've not messed up messed up anything, we should be able to request this. And have it just work. Let's go see this thing in action. Once it starts, once it crafts all the materials, of course. We've got a few circuits to go. Is it working? Aha! That was easy. <laughs> and it should come out the output bus. Uh, did I miss it or?
First year seven. You saw it? Uh, I missed it. <laughs> I think I was watching chat. All right, so we've unlocked the ZPM circuits. And we've unlocked the LUV tier. Excellent. Okay, so LUV assembly machine is next. Which means we need all, oh, yes, all the LUV components. Aha. Uh -huh. Plus dying, reef dying, and rubber and lubricant. Let's go filter those in. Styrene and lubricant we should already have. Yeah. I noticed that it... Uh, let's start pinning this stuff. Okay, piston and motor. I noticed one of them took a... An integrated circuit. Yeah, configuration one. I think that's the only one though, right? This has to go here. This has to be disconnected. Since if we if we put it on here and we have blocking mode on, which we should actually have here, it sees that there's a circuit in here and it won't send the item. Yeah, it has to be SBR. That's I think that's what I was thinking of last episode. Why does the assembly line need a circuit? I don't know, it just does. <laughs> okay, we've got a lot of a recipe encoding here to do. Okay, motor. Electric motor. Oh, this is circuit eight. Wait, I'm not checking for circuits that we're using here. Is this the right? Yeah, we're using the right circuits here. And the conveyor. Wait, why is this one stuck? Only updates if you leave the GUI, huh? I wonder if that's intended. No, this looks right. And the piston. Oh, this is config too. Okay, give me like two stacks of circuits. Major floors out of concrete. Yeah, I done that last time. I just don't want to automate concrete. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. We can't do this, can we? It has to be ULV. Right? Is this going to be long enough now? There's 
There was one, two, and eight. Yeah. You can point to. You can point pro to the timestamp in the VOD. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good actually. It doesn't see. It doesn't make sense for it to be intended though. I don't know. Okay, let's see if the motor works. We're missing a lot of recipes. Yttrium barium cable. Let's start coating cable 16 at a time since we have 16 assembly machines in the PAs. I'm going to switch out all of these ones. Okay, long magnetic neodymium rods. Goes in the lathes. We need an expansion card for this, right? Yeah. And I guess we'll need the... Uh, the polarizer recipe. 0.8 seconds per, this is this is quick. No, we'll do we'll keep it consistent, we'll do eight at a time. I don't know if that's my mouse or if it's always takes like two or three clicks to put it in here. Why doesn't this work? Game? I have no clue what's going on here. Three, I love you. <laughs> That's a very strange comment to receive, but thank you. Can't say you've experienced that. I noticed that the first time I got the pattern, the interface terminal. It's like, yeah, you see that there? I don't know what's going on here. We should have HSSG rods, yes. Okay, so that should be the motor recipe. Always something else. Your true barium cable. Or wire, I mean. These should at least be... 16 inputs. Yeah. Just to get the full use of all the assembly machines. Or the wire mills, I mean. Let's see if this works without any issues. EPS is good, I think. Yeah, TPS is 20. Good morning, Omega. <clears throat> it's always three that have these problems. <laughs> Why always me? You have to go? No problem at all. I appreciate you stopping by. I see you comment on nearly every video, so thank you. 
Obama. Okay, we got the motor. Let's see about this piston. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to be missing the gear and the small gear, yeah. And the ring. Gears we do in the compactor. Which we also need expansion cards for. Yeah, Exa, I didn't think it was going to be TPS. Small... Wait, we are doing small gears in the alloys, Mentor, right here. This can only be in... A solidifier or an extruder. Hey, trucks. Have I thought about creating an expert mod? I don't. I wouldn't even know where to start with that. Time for another PA? No, it's not worth a PA for small gears. Do we do it in the fluid extractor though, or the ex or the extruder? Hold on, how many other extruders do we have here? I guess I did complain about this, the medium pipe earlier on, right? And we can do distinct input bus, as X has pointed out. You know what? I'm convinced. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh, that's LUV. IV. And we'll definitely need extruders at EV for this. Wait, what is this? Nichrome? Mm, I think we have Nichrome. Let's find out. We do have Nichrome. Okay then. Let's set up some extruders. Output here. The solidifier is uh, is quicker. Well, yeah, but the. The extruder gives us more flexibility. Plus we can PA this with one machine, one machine type. And we can also add this, the, the medium pipe. Okay, where did I put that anvil? There it is. Uh, 
Uh, extruder PA small gears. And extruder PA. Medium pipe. Formed? Yes. Okay, one more for outputs here. Is the extruders finished yet? Yeah, yes, perfect timing. The stink bus is on. I mean, extruder shapes as well. In GT, you can make PA with assembly machines. Yep, you can make it with I think any machine, any not any single block machine. Uh, what am I looking for here? Looking for the extruder. Where did I put that thing? And this thing. I'm gonna cut. No. No, let's not come back for that. Okay. Imagine a PA that can hold multi blocks. Isn't that just the multi block itself, though? <laughs> Okay, which one is this? Medium pipe? This one is small gears. I think can, I think we can keep the same recipe. We just need the other mold, because this is the alloy smelter mold. We need the extruder mold. Which we don't have. I think it's... The empty one. Yeah, this one. Oops, wrong one. Here. Let's test this out. Rapid. <laughs> oh, that is so satisfying. That's so nice. And we can get rid of our MV stuff. Okay, so small HSSG gear. Can be done like this. Let's also change them all to 16 at a time. While we're doing this. Hey Ace, you're done with work? That's that's cool. Welcome to the stream. Should work super super quick. Wow. Let's also change the pipes while I remember. These will all be 16 at a time. Wait. Oh, yeah, I guess 24. 24 can work.
Okay, what's next? Rounds? How do we do rounds? In the lathe? Easy. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> Why does that always happen? Okay, rings we can do in the extruder. Do we have a way? To, no, we don't have a way to make rings. Where is my ring mold? Ah. You're watching from work? Oh, don't let me keep you from work. I get a lot of comments about that recently, like, every now and again. People skipping exams and stuff, like, no. <laughs> I'll be here for a while, don't worry. Extruder, PA, uh, ring? Yeah. Okay, ring's done. And that was for pistons. Uh-huh. Oh, look how quick everything is. This week you put too many episodes? Yeah, I think maybe I did. Uh oh. I mean, this is 30 seconds. The fact that it's not finished though is kind of... Oh, impatience. <laughs> no, we're, we're fine, we're fine. This is only 8 input items, and I think our assembly line is 13 inputs, minus 3 for the, the circuits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let me go double check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then eleven. One output. This this has to be one longer. I think rotors is going to be our new bottleneck now. Let's maybe, uh... Let's maybe pin this. Well, not the chrome one, because that's a, that's a strange colour. Let's pin bronze rotors, and we'll come back to that in a sec. Oh man, look at this. I keep saying this, but look at the crafting speed. Okay, solid steel. This, um, this is not going to be quite so fast. Oh, two more solid steel.
Wait, what is this one, middle one called? I've been can't wait for you to blow up. A lot of people have been saying that. There's been a few posts on. Someone brought uh, uh, to my attention that there was a few posts on Reddit about me as well. Last used to be your favorite channel, but you've outdone him by like tenfold. <laughs> he calls me Mr. Fold. No, I love Lashmag. Lashmag. I'm assuming you're talking about Lashmag. Flash Mac is great. In fact, I know I know a lot of you guys watch Flash Mac as well. Okay, we didn't miss anything else for this, right? No. So just the conveyor to go. See if both of these things finish. Did I put blocking mode on? Ashmark's taking a break for a week. Yeah, I did see his YouTube post about that. Oh, it's still working. Okay. It is still working. Excellent. Metis, you're going to have to at some point. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Who do you mean excellent? <laughs> yes, I do mean excellent. <laughs> Big shout out to Exa, by the way. A, a lot of you guys are, are going to be familiar with Exa in chat. He does a lot of... Well, he's the, main, he's the lead developer, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Lead developer on Nomi Factory. Great job on the pack. Okay, do these work without... Um... Yes. Where do we put this thing? Like here. Pack is still in dev. Yeah, it, yeah, they update it very frequently. But it's a very stable development version. It always has been for for the most part, I think. Put the other one like here. Oh, of course, we're not in range. I think we need a one in the middle. Did the lovely components finish? Yes, the piston must have worked because we used that in the robot arm. 
amazing. Amazing, okay. LUV assembly machine. Niobium titanium, I don't know if we have that recipe. What's the bets we don't? Nope. And Niobium titanium wire? Nope. LUV assembly machine? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Would love to see Lashmac try DJ2. He actually did try DJ2. Way back when it first released. He actually played it before me. Uh, I think we got... We seen like... Four or five episodes maybe? Yeah, this is going to be slow, right? Why is it so slow on the transistors? That doesn't make any sense. Is this the right recipe? Why did it put in platinum wire there? Oh, right. It must be a conflict. I see. I see. Does that, does that mean we have a bunch of diodes? Is it these you're referring to? I'm not sure what it's, what it's trying to craft there. It's okay, we can use blocking mode. Or actually, we can just we can just put it in this one. No reason why that can't work. Still has polyethylene. And that way we can do more more than one request at once. Okay, that's going to take a few minutes at least. Make me a thousand. Small piles of gallium. How's our gallium looking? 19,000. <laughs> that's plenty. Make a thousand. Oh, we only have EV assembly machines in here. Let's sort that out. Oh. No titanium. Okay, let's <laughs> let's hold off on that in a sec. Let's, f let's figure out these bronze rotors. Uh, 
I think honestly the best solution is just to do IV machines. So if we do like an IV fluid extractor solidifier. Any objections? <laughs> We're missing the IV pump, really. Oh, you know what? Pumps we can do in the assembly machine now because we have silicon rubber. Let's do a separate one for this. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we've reached minimum casings. Yeah, let's swap out all pumps to do that because I think that's what's taken most of the tool recipes. That's not a good idea through AE. Yeah, this is no bueno. Hey, Joss. Was that a fluid extractor or a regular extractor? Did I encode the wrong one? <laughs> I did encode the wrong one. IV fluid extractor. Good spot. I also overwrote the LV pump there. Yeah, we want like this instead. No more tool crossing. HV, LV, MV. Cool. Fluid extractor. Missing screws. Done in the lathe. We'll do the 64 at a time. Bolts are the cutting machine. The cutting saw. Perfect, and a solidifier. You know what, this actually reminds me, we should... Extract an impossible realm data for quantum flux. Oh, that's a thing. Is this more efficient to do this? Morning, Jacob. Weren't you going to do something with tungstate? Yes, you're right. Let's. Uh, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that after this. No, yeah, that reminds me. We should bump up some of these buffers here. I want to keep more annealed copper for sure. Like 12k annealed copper. 
Black steel is fine, that's quick. That's fine, that's fine. What have we got HSSG at? 1024. Let's bump this to... Fourteen hundred. Tungsten is at five K, but there's also a second level emitter here. Ten twenty four. No, that's fine. We we need more tungsten steel at this point than tungsten. This is fine. Radium dust. No, that's fine. Yttrium barium cuprate, I think, is also fine. 5,000, 5,000. Vanadium gallium we can take up. Okay, good. Uh oh Oh, this has to be Ivy, right? Yes, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, IV pump requires RV, IV. That's right. So this we have to do the old-fashioned way. One more. So a solidifier and extractor. Eighteen episodes already at processing arrays. I mean, if you look at the if the, if you look at the time here, we're already at four days, six hours. So I mean, it's actually not that fast. Yeah, take all this. Don't need this anymore. Anvil, please. Where did I leave that thing? Is multi MC zip fixed? Uh, by fixed, I don't think you can do it like you used to. I think you have to go through CurseForge now. Or a specific mod website or things like that. Seems fast but there's a lot you haven't seen. Yeah exactly, I cut out a lot of footage. <laughs> like a lot of footage. It's mostly just me fumbling about like trying to decide on things. I should have made that a big interface, but I don't want to rename now. Oh well.
Oh, that's so much faster. Oh, look at that. Um, Tungstate, that's right. Well, no, we can put that off a bit longer. We're back up to 5k. Let's put that off a bit longer. I want to get these blast furnaces running. And we can unpin rotors here as well. We've got the rotors and we've got all this. LUV assembly machine. Quest complete. So that unlocks the fourth and final tier fives. We don't have an LUV line, right? We don't have an... Wait, what is the LUV cable? Signalum? Let's put it here for now. I love that you can shift click the input from output side now. That's that's so awesome. Wait, we should use solder and alloy, right? No. No, let's use let's keep using tin because we're not we don't have antimony sorted out yet. Surprised that you're able to pronounce some of the elements. Yeah, some of the elements in GT can be a bit ridiculous. <laughs> but I mean, mostly they're they're based on real life, so most of them actually exist. Okay, we, we need this recipe. I think we've got everything here. We've got crystal CPUs on passive, right? We need fine niobium titanium wire. How long is this? 10 seconds? Hey, the next tier circuit. Fourth and final tier fives. Which replaces which one? I guess the quantum processor. Oh great, we've got Oh great, that's going to be a lot of circuits. Uh, yeah, that is a lot of circuits to, to change. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, not that one. I think it's just all of these IVs, right? 
yeah, change everything. Since we want to be using the most efficient recipe for the circuit. I.e. the cheapest. Okay, that's tier 6. Assembly line. We get cheaper assembly lines. IV electrolyzer. What was this? The EV assembly machine? I'm glad I never crafted those extra ones actually. What is this? Tier 6. Few more to go. So many clicks. Okay, and all of these can go in regular molecular assemblers. Oh, no space. I'm going to swap the IV component here. The tower grows. <laughs> How tall? I don't know. Okay, we got our... Well, that was weird. We got our crystal circuits. What's next? The third tier sixes. Should we go for this or the micro miner? We don't really need the, the third tier 6s for anything right now, do we? Besides ZPM stuff, but we, we don't need ZPM right now. So yeah, let's go for the tier 5 micro miner. Okay, tier 5. Micro miner? Okay. Wait, which table is this in? The blue? Let's start off with the recipe and then see what we're missing.
I have a feeling it's going to be the heavy plating. We may have to upgrade compressors again. Do you think you'll eventually pass with the miners? Oh yeah, absolutely. But post tank, after tank. Naquada super important. Yeah, I I, yeah, I want to get the the EBFs going for that ASAP. Okay, tier f five. How short are we? Uh huh. Okay, we can start with the easy stuff. Easy. Easy. Anything else? No. Okay, here we go. Hey, Viola. Metis, the microminers are never rendered useless. You need all of them, basically all the way throughout the game, even after tank. I think maybe besides the tier... Is it tier 6? There's one of them that makes it useless, but almost all of them are useful. Didn't know I streamed? I don't stream it often. You're not part of the community for long? Oh, welcome. Welcome. You're most welcome. Okay, what do we start with here? Iridium heavy plating, supercharged laser rays or vibrant pressing. Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> the soul binder. Uh... Okay, let's start with this. Let's get a chemical reactor. Let's start with the, the easy, 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 easier stuff. We already have mining lasers. Right? Yes, these are fully automated right now. Recipe for this. Super laser. Hey, Ricky. Actually, this makes no difference. Let's... I was going to share the same interface, but it really makes no difference. Okay, radon right here. This one here, enable auto input. No point doing this on passive since we don't have microminers on passive yet. And we're certainly not going to passive this at the moment. Okay, done. First video you saw was Nomi Factor Episode 1. Oh, so that is very, very recent. Hey, Mr. Chaos. Okay, so this works, right? Yeah, only ten seconds, so I think we're we're good. I don't mind waiting ten seconds per mi per micro miner. Yeah, it does work. Okay, one thing off the list. 
Iridium heavy plate and we need L oh. Uh, LUV compressors. Do we do our whole processing array in LUV? What's the next tier of heavy plating? How long before we have to upgrade this again? Okay, tier 6 is also LUV. Tier 7 is ZPM. Good luck powering 16 LUV compressors. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think I think we just do what we did at IV and we just make one. Yeah, it's not feasible at this point. Let's just do one. Can you power a PA with LUV machines? It would, we would have to do ZPM power. We could do double ZPM though, right? That would give us 16 amps LUV. Yeah, I mean, it's it's technically possible we could, but it's way too many resources for right now. So probably not worth, I'd rather just wait the extra, however long it is. 10 seconds per plating, and it's only 3, 6, 10 per microminer. Hey, Dishko. Okay, LUV compressor. Quite well, complete. Let's put it next to this guy since it's going to get moved. It's going to be faster in this one as well, so... I will keep it there. Going to run out of power? Maybe. But it's not passive, so it's okay. It's the passive processes that really, really catch up to you. Actually, we'll keep this one at a time. Actually, how is our Iridium doing? 388. Let's send two to your fours. Yeah, I, w I want to get some more Osmium as well. Yeah, that's going to have to go through our processing as well, so. Okay, then this guy, the thruster. Let's see what we're missing here. I kind of don't want to look at this, to be honest. Oh, just, just the pressing crystal.
Uh huh. I encoded the recipe for the Soulbinder when I was doing the advanced crafting, so not too bad. We're going to need a powered spawner for this as well. Something that we don't have. These we passive. Z logics we don't create very efficiently. We should really switch to the slice and splice. How long before we can get flux tools? Right now is the answer. We could technically get flux tools right now. Don't filled soul vials have crafting recipes? Oh, you might be right about that actually. They do have crafting recipes. But this does take diamonds and I don't want to use pristine shulkers. I don't I don't think this is worth doing. Especially when the powered spawner is just, like, free. Okay, let's do this over here. Mm. You can't spawn nothing. Of course you can't spawn nothing. Hello, King. Do we have any spawners? Hmm. Oh, an anvil. I also can't see nothing. No, I don't want to set my spawn here. Oh, there's two. Let's get more because I know I'll know I know we'll need more later. Doesn't look like the broken spawner is craftable. Oh, wait. No, decoration block? I don't think we can use that.
Bat wings. Where are we looking for these things like Divine Journey, I mean? Okay, let's try to go for like eight. There's another one. Oh, Payless, nice. Uh huh. Do you have what I'm looking for? Why am I picking that up? Oh, we've been here. We've been here. That's a dead end. I can't see anything. <laughs> I should have went back to sleep. You know what, we have six, that's gonna last us like a very long time. It's fine. Wait, how do we change the spawner again? We c I always get confused with this step. We change it like this first, right? Or like this first and then combine with the soul vial. Oh, that's right, yeah, the soul binder. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, I just done it backwards. <laughs> Let's go for max capacitor. You like the new prospector in CEU? It gives you an exact number of ores. Wait, really? Down to the block? This is taking a while. Now we can use one of these for now. Wow, 
car that is slow. Surely we have a faster one than that. Okay, Shulker Spawner, then we can bind this in the Anvil. We need one more capacitor for this one. Okay, and then we combine with Vibrant Crystals. What are they called? Prescient? Need AE over here. I think we'll eventually pass with this stuff. But we just don't send that many microminers right now. So I'm just gonna do it on demand. Okay, I think we want item conduit here though. We need fluids as, he as well here for liquid EXP. Was it called liquid experience? Or XP? Uh huh. Do we need a limited item filler for this? No. We just need a pattern. I think that's it. Like this, we don't want the shulker vial or the empty vial in the pattern. Yeah. Because those will already be available here and we can recycle the empty one. Since we get the empty one back out of the soul vial. That's not what I meant to do. Aha, it does work. We just need some extract on this. Perfection. We can set this to push pull. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That shouldn't get jammed. Nice. Oh, 
Okay, so does this mean we can get our Vibrant Thruster? Yeah, everything else here we have. I think we got the Tier 5 Micro Miner. Can we just straight up request this now? No ready on plate recipe. You're five? Ah. Uh, tier five. Have we set up Nitro Diesel? Not yet. I think that's something we'll get to today though. Because we need it for Draconium. Oh wait, I didn't hold an Iridium Heavy Plate in there. That's okay, we'll craft another one. It's a tad slow, but that's okay. Are we using the right recipes for f fishing controller? Quantums? Yeah, that's right. Oh, this is that slow alloy smelting recipe, right? Alright, so is there anything else that we need for tier 5? We need an IV micro miner mission. What tier is our IV is our micro miner? It's already IV. Yeah, it's the heavy plane. That's our bottleneck here. Okay, so if I'm not wrong, there's two missions that we actually need from this right now. Yeah, we can get Osmium this way. Although, apart from that, I don't think we need any of this, do we? No, this is Emerald. Do we need to run this first mission right now? Beryllium Monazite. We don't need Monazite. Oh, this is where the antimony comes from. Aha, it's this. We can get Palladium this way. I think we're good for Palladium though, right? Yeah, we're good for a Palladium, but we might as well set up both missions while we're doing it anyway. And we should have the Stabilized Uranium. Stabilized Uranium and Plutonium, yeah. Yeah, let's set up, let's set up recipes for both. Tier 5 Micro Miner. Wars? One will be in ores, one will be in aquada. <laughs> yeah, it's not something we'll run right now, but I mean, we might as well set up the recipe for it. So this one is ores. This one is Aquata.
Okay, let's do our usual trick here. Level emitter on the export bus. Oops. This gets a redstone card. Active with signal. You export this piece of paper. You get a crafting card. Emit when item is crafting. Ors, ors, okay. Yeah, ores is done. Now the Naquada mission. Active with signal. Active while, active while crafting. Just make sure we put the right ones in here. Yes. And the spaghetti continues. <laughs> Add our patterns here. Alright, we should be able to send tier 5s. You could set it... It's 4. It's 4 outputs here. Although I guess it could work in the extended craft and the extended pattern terminal, right? Yeah, you're right. For this mission, we could have just technically done the, the default way of configuring patterns. Alright, let's get some Naquada. I am also going to increase our buffer on plutonium. Let's keep four stacks of plutonium. Just so we can send more microminers at once. Where's the Naquada? Any second we're going to see it. There it is. I caught it this time. <laughs> I caught it this time. Is Slash Home added with FTB utilities? Yes, I believe so. Oh, oh. We didn't get the quest. Oh. Well, let's craft another one. <laughs> EV plus output buses are bigger. Yeah, it goes up to 100 output slots. Quest should complete, yeah, but we didn't uh, we didn't actually hold the microminer since it's all automated. That seems like an error having on demand processing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we didn't hold the micro. Okay, how do we actually smelt the quad though? I assume we need more coils for this. 
Tungsten steel. Huh. I'm tempted, I'm really tempted just to do it in HSSG. We're gonna do it in HSSG. That's not where that goes. Make sure we invert this. Okay, I think we only need the input and output bus. Ah, why does this always place the wrong way? <laughs> An interface. Last furnace. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, is this four at once? No, it's just too quick. <laughs> it's just so fast. Okay, now question is, do we use Nequada Dust for anything? Uh, yeah, I guess we use it for Enriched. And Nequadria. I remember we do need this. What do you guys think? How much, how much Nequada should we buffer? I never know how much to buffer. <laughs> oh yeah, we've run out of power here. No, we're still using one CEF. Oh no. That's very bad. Mixer recipe is way less than tier 5. Wait.
Wait, you can get enriched Naquada? I remember we- oh, I remember this from last time. It's not- it's not Naquada Alloy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You don't need enriched Naquada ever. Oh, really? Aha, uh -huh. but you do need enrich you do need the quadra alloy, right? For the next coil. Let's keep two thousand. IV IV. Okay, let's get our quest. Twenty seven to go. Aha. Two quests. Yeah, okay. Are we in ZPM already? <laughs> okay, let's claim our quest rewards. That's something I'm really, really bad for. Let's just claim everything here. Oh, I put an odd number of plates in. That's That's a good spot. I did not think about that. Yeah, good call, good call. You need PTFE before ZPM. Oops. Might as well send that other that other Naquada mission, right? Since we have the Microminer crafted already. I also want to check to make sure we're processing all the the ores that we actually want to process, which I think we are. And I think this stud knight I manually mined way back at the beginning of the game. I'm going to throw this through ore processing. Okay, where are we? We need Naquada coils for Draconium. But that's going to take a little while to smelt. Oh yeah, we do also need this. And we do need Draconium dust, right? This is going to start with manual and no. Yeah, cobalt, ardite, mana, dust. Which tier were we doing this at? I think it was HV. Skills recipe from DML is better. Oh yeah, that's for the same thing. Yes, you're right. We do already have this, don't we? We already have skills. We have 5,000 skills. Look at this planning ahead. Oh, see if this if this was on a video, I'd be off on a tangent. And I would have had to cut out the last, like, 15 minutes or whatever it is for me setting up manually. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here. Switched on. 
Okay, one thing that is unavoidable though is we do need Nitro Diesel. Which means... <laughs> Which means we need regular Diesel, right? And we're getting a lot of heavy and light fuel here, which is unmixed currently. Also, before I forget, I'm going to add... I'm going to add a trash can for this refinery gas. Before it's too late. Make sure we switch off round robin. Yeah. Last thing we want is to have no oil byproducts when we need them. Okay, good. Wait, we need two fluid storage buses here. Don't connect. Don't connect. Okay, so these will both get high priority, and we'll, I think we'll mix off-site here. There we go. And no me steam crack all naphtha, diesel all light, steam crack M excess heavy, yeah. We're going to end up with excess heavy fuel, so we may get another distillation tower today. Although I haven't really found a need for it yet. It's not something that we currently need right now. Okay, so nitro diesel. Let's see, this is one second at HV. This is 24 seconds. Oh, we can use methyl acetate for this. Huh. Hmm, that's the thing. How are we going to get... Acetic acid. Okay, let's do this at EV. Let's set it up and then we'll address bottlenecks after. Because I have a feeling we'll have to do something about our acetic acid. Okay, one of those, at least two chemical reactors. Man, I'm fat fingering everything today. Can't type. Okay, so nitro diesel. We have to. I think we'll start with diesel. And then we'll do tetra nitro methane. Diesel should be easy.
Okay, pump for insert. Heavy fuel and light fuel. I don't know if this needs a circuit or not. I guess we'll find out. No. We don't need diesel for anything else. So we don't need to buffer this at all. I guess we need an another mixer for this. Seems Scottish, yeah. Yeah, I'm Scottish. I'm just not a Ouija. <laughs> I bet there's probably very few of you guys who actually actually know what that means. Okay, tetranitromethane, let's work backwards. Nitric acid eth ethanone. Okay, we are going to get water out of this, so we want to trash water. I don't know why I'm starting with this, but it's the easy stuff to get out of the way. Okay, what are we trash? We'll grab a drawer for carbon. Right, it's just carbon and water excess. Can even put this right here. Give it max upgrades. Okay, easy stuff out of the way. <laughs> Tetraintromethane, nitric acid, acetic acid. Now then, which recipe do we want to do here? Nitrogen dioxide, oxygen, water. Gives us two buckets. Ni hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen gives us one plus water. Hold on, how, how many fluids do we have right now? Okay, we're good for oxygen, nitrogen. Do we have carbon dioxide? Yes, we do. So, we should be able to do it with everything we have. HV recipe is good. Which HV? This one? Nitrogen, hard hydrogen, oxygen. Yeah, that one seems good. Yeah, this is 62.5 seconds. I think we'll do this one here. Yeah, the circuit 24 recipe. Okay, we're gonna get water, which we trash.
No need to make that a small interface there, to be honest. Okay, so nitrogen, oxygen, circuit 24, Yeah, and hydrogen. Hydrogen is the one we're missing. You do need to be careful with hydrogen. Ah. Very careful, apparently. Maybe we don't use hydrogen in that case. Yeah, maybe we switch away from this. Break, break down methane. We're already doing that somewhere. Is it here? Yeah, we're out of methane. No methane. Okay, we're going to switch recipes here because I know that we need hydrogen for dense hydrogen. Yep, we're going to switch to the other one. Water nitrogen dioxide. Which just involves another chemical reactor. Sodium water? Wait, is this one more efficient or the other one? This is 12 seconds. Oh yeah, we do definitely have to upgrade hydrogen at some point. But not right now. We just want we just don't want to use it for this recipe for nitric acid. But is it better to use the circuit four? Nitrogen dioxide, oxygen, water? Or three buckets? I guess this just combines it into one, right? Oh, and we get we get nitric oxide out of this. Uh Yeah, we definitely want to use this one. 
So circuit 3, nitrogen dioxide, water. Okay, that changes things. Let's filter this for nitric acid. Okay, very good. We... Do we want to break this? Do we have any of this by any chance? No, we don't. Okay, give me a second, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to get my head around this. Okay, so we don't need any of these. Oops. And instead, we actually need an aqueous accumulator. Okay, and now we need nitrogen dioxide, which is circuit one nitrogen oxygen. This one needs circuit three. You get circuit one. Pump to import, and we're happy. Yes, autom automatically send your fluid left. You make us nitric acid, very good. You need a pump to pull that in. Uh-huh, and we have to deal with nitric oxide, okay. So an electrolyzer. I guess we can do that over here, right? Yeah, that's going to be easy. Okay, let's do this. Nitrogen, oxygen, and we'll get uh, quantum tanks for these. Wow, that was that was so quick to craft. You're going to get nitrogen. You're going to get oxygen. Right? Need to void excess. 
Yeah, you're right, we do need to void access. Yep, that's going to be an issue later, so let's address it right now. Simple as ways just to do this. Does this trick work in GAI? It does work. Nice. Yeah, how many of you guys know you can do this? You can double search. You're going to be negative. Do these keep their fluids? Yes, they do. one is nitrogen. Are we good? Are we good? Two fluid storage buses. Also works in the ME thermals. Yeah, I, I use it a lot. It's really good. Okay, these guys are going to be low priority. We want these to be used first. Okay, it's backing up nitric acid. That's okay. Although, you know what? I didn't leave any space for the, the diesel inputs here. Or not the diesel inputs, the um, ethanol. Enigmatica 6 is the best mod pack. I've never played the Enigma Enigmatica 6, although I've heard conflicting things about that, that pack. I'm not going to form an opinion until I've played it, so I can't really say much. Okay, ethanone, acetic acid sulfuric, or acetone. Are we getting any of those? No. Unless we do methyl acetate, which involves wood vinegar, which involves charcoal byproducts. Ah, oh, why don't we have acetic acid? I mean, we could just do high. No, this is more hydrogen, though. We don't really want to put more strain on our hydrogen. That was a mistake we made last time. Hmm, what do you guys think here? Do we do charcoal byproducts? That seems like a lot though, just to get acetone.
Oh yeah, ethylene. We now have 5,000 buckets of. We may just take the... <laughs> we may just take the ethylene route here. Ethylene oxygen. Hmm. Okay, let's do ethylene oxygen then. It's going to be faster. It's going to be faster and we've also we've also already filled buffers on polyethylene everywhere. So wherever we make it over here. Yeah, this is using the hydrogen way, which we can keep for this for epoxy. I don't mind keeping that here. We don't need these anymore. Oh, we still have conduits here. Someone remind me to switch that later. We need to put those in PAs. Uh, let's leave a space. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ethylene, please. <laughs> Ethylene oxygen. Now then, which circuit was it? Because I, I don't want to make polyethylene here. Circuit 2. Yeah, and then mix with sulfuric acid. Okay, ethanol diluted sulfuric acid. Do we use ethanol for anything else? We do not. However, I should have moved this over. I should have moved this over a block. Oh man. This is what you guys don't see on video. <laughs> Have I played Factorio? I have played Factorio. I played quite a lot of Factorio. Oh, this is bad.
Yep, I'm gonna move them over. It's gonna be a mistake not to. Port. Ethylene and oxygen. Okay, what do we do with this guy? Ethanol we can put in here. Here we want sulfuric acid. Okay. Here, we need another fluid filler. Diluted sulfuric acid. Circuit zero, yes. And ethanol, we can just send via conduit. Oh boy, I do not like the look of that. <laughs> oh boy. It works though, it works. Aesthetics have, have been long gone. There are long lost art in this. <laughs> Okay, we're getting nitro diesel, and yeah, King pointed out, um, yes, this is no clarity, yeah. <laughs> Told you it would come on at some point. Yes, we do need to avoid excess of your acid. So... <laughs> uh, 
Anyone else feel like 3 is going to Draconic Reactor nuke this final, the base in the final episode? Not just for fun, but to erase all evidence <laughs> of this thoroughly shameful build. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame. <laughs> Oh man, it keeps getting better and better, look at this. Look at this, absolutely nothing wrong here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Avert your eyes. But we don't even need this one. Just don't look, guys, don't look. Nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> Actually, wait, I do want to move this. But why am I moving? I was going to move it on top of the drum, but there's actually no need to do that. I already have a fluid storage bus. Okay. <laughs> We're making nitro diesel. Why did we need that? The dragon skills, that's right. Oh, and look at that, we already have enough Naquada smelted. Can't see anything wrong at all? Exactly. Okay, Naquada coils. Now that we're over that hump. can go there. This one is circuit 8. Let's do a little bit of clean up on the inventory. Don't need these, don't need this, don't need this. Let's restock on conduits. Ten more blast furnaces. to start an LUV line? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Which tier do we want to run this at? Oh my goodness, a thousand seconds. Are we playing GTNH here? <laughs> a thousand seconds? Yeah, we want this at LUV. Surf. Just missing signal and wire or cable. 
No, it was right the first time. Wire. Good. It's thousands of MV. That is a... Like... Wait, MV? MV. Yes, it is MV. Can anyone tell me what that is at EV? An IV? Anyone got the overclock and calculator up? Why is it stuck doing copper cable? That was very strange. Five hundred EV? No, it's two point eight second overclock, or two point eight X overclock. Forty-five point six seconds. Is that at IV? Yeah, forty-five seconds at IV. Ah. Uh -huh. Also, welcome, Taz. I didn't know you were here. Hmm. Do we do this at LUV then? Well, what else do we need to blast furnace around this area? There is also Enderium, which is Naquada coils, a thousand seconds of MV. So this is a very, very similar recipe. Time. Yeah, I'm thinking LUV. Okay, yeah, let's stick to our guns here. Let's do L let's do LUV. And we'll just set up the double blast furnace right now. So another 10 coils. a few short. Perfect. So EBF is here and here. Oh yeah, that's another tool recipe. Is the heat proof machine casings. Oh, I forgot that Naquata coils look like this. How much RF do you feed that CEF? Oh yeah. Maximum N is 2 million. gonna have to do one of these things. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Best coils in the game? You think so? You think these are, you really think these are better than these ones? I think I like these ones, I like the tongues to steal. Time to make superconductor? Yeah, it is time to make superconductor, that's the upgrade right? Well, I guess there's the Enderium Intermediate, but... I mean... I don't want to upgrade these conduits again, so let's go all the way up to Superconductor, if we can. There is one more thing that we need for this though, right? Other than Draconium. Oh, Molten Nether Star, that's right. Okay, one thing at a time then.
We should already have energy hatches at LUV, right? That's an output hatcher made by my, by mistake. Energy input LUV, yes. Both of these are going to need input hatches. We'll make a few. And I think both are just one I oops. Both are just one item input each, right? Oh, lag spike. Okay, we need, uh, what is it, Signalum Cable at LUV? I think it is. Do we have the AX? We do. That's a good point, we're missing the fluid interfaces. Not one to post comment. Command? I assume comment. Playthrough is... You really like the playthrough? Keep it up, continue, have fun. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of you guys who just, uh, who like to... Just watch without send in any comments or anything. I appreciate you guys as well. Nothing wrong with that either, staying anonymous. <laughs> I did that frequently in other people's channels. Shout out to all you guys. Morning, John. How did we run out of level emitters? Machine controllers, can't forget about those. Okay, so, first one is going to be for Ender Dragon Scales and Nitro Diesel. Wait, can we drag from here? Aha, we can drag from there. Why is this stuck again? Is there any YouTubers that have the same kind of ed video editing? Um, maybe Lashmac? Wait, why does this not work? Glad you got dragon skills. Yeah, was it you that reminded me on, on Discord? I think I may have already had them set up at that point, but I did. we did anticipate this, yes. Wait a second, am I crazy? Circuit 24 is for 1x cable. 
Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's because I went from the 16x wire. Yes, I am crazy, is the answer. <laughs> No, 28 is correct. It's just because I selected the wrong recipe. We want this one. We don't need these as... Yeah, no, that is right. That is right. Now it works. I saw it. Circuit 24 is get out what you put in. Ah, that makes that makes sense. Okay, wait, LUV. LUV, yes. ETNH got me paranoid. <laughs> okay, so this should be what is this? Draconium? We need an EV freezer with cryothium. But there's something that we're not getting. Where do we make cryothium? Mm, 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 here? I know that we make it over there at the reactor. I want to keep that separate. That's so nice how quick that is. Actually, you know what, on second thought... We have fluid storage bosses here. No, we're using the ender tank. Okay. Better get some sleep. You, will you catch the rest of this later. Consider using a wire bundle machine. Oh, that exists. That's right. Oh, well, thank you so much, Exa. Have a good sleep, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Okay, molten cryothium. Molten cryothium. Yeah, we may look at the wire bundle machine. I totally forgot about that. We have fluid input hatches here. Wait, we can put these here? Wait, why is this working? Wait, what?
Okay, does it work here? All right, I'm not gonna go. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, we we need we need a connection here. <laughs> no, it should be killing. Let's just make sure these arcs actually are getting cryothium. Yeah. Conium, nice. This may have our freezer busy for a while. That's very slow. Add a grass patch to make it a lawn base. <laughs> I wonder if Troxaris is here. I don't think we have any grass though. Yeah. No shame. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, maybe time to upgrade these freezers. Although we are already overclocking these things at EV. This is an HV line. Uh, what do we do here? Yeah, our, our blast furnace is too fast for this thing. Yeah, it's time to move them, but where? Where do we move them? Definitely not LUV. Do we want them at IV though? No, Superconductor is going to get its own one. Superconductor base, or what is it called again? No, this recipe is going to get its own one. I don't want these mixing with the hot ingots. I think we move them here, honestly. Make them all at IV, yeah. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea, to be honest. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no.
Wait, that would have just put them back straight back, right? Because <laughs> I didn't disconnect it first. Out. Okay, you finish your recipe, we'll move them all. Okay, we do need the energy hatches though. IV energy hatches. It's weird that these can't be wrenched in this version. Like, the ideal thing is the pickaxe. That's very strange. Yeah, we'll do it here. Yeah. Does this work? It does work. I definitely did not expect that to work there. No, that was right the first time. Max priority, match and get hot. Output bus can go here. One more connection there. And the rest is casings. Right? Perfection. Explosion? No. <laughs> you guys keep bringing up explosion. No explosion. This one is not needed. Let's do that for a second. Someone remind me that's there. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in the middle. I want to get that emptied so that we don't waste it. Okay, and then the output boss here. We good? Now we just have to... Man, look at all the hot ingots, <laughs> just, just from when we moved. Okay. That should have put them all into here. Yep. Sure, it's the Scottish accent. I don't have a Scottish accent. 
Igen. Alright, what's next for us? Enderium? Do we make Enderium blend? I don't think we've got that set up that yet, right? No. We don't have Enderium set up. Or blue steel for that matter. But you know what? I think that's something we'll do after the break. I'm gonna take a quick five minutes. So wow. How has it already been three and a half hours? Yep, we're gonna set up Enderium. Let's see, what else can we achieve today, I wonder? We'll definitely get Draconium. Not tier 7, maybe tier 6. Maybe Super Gun Doctor, maybe we rush this this thing. How many hours you go you're going to keep going? I may go on a bit longer today, to be, to be honest, because I'm going to be busy tomorrow, so there's not going to be an episode tomorrow. Creative tank today. Superconductor rush isn't a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea, honestly. You guys can watch the sunset. I'll be back very shortly. Thanks for sticking around, everyone. Uh, I see what you guys are trying to do here. 
Trying to scare me that the base explodes? Not gonna happen. This is a fancier AFK closet. All right, Indidium. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Yeah, nothing happened here. Indidium, Indidium. Uh, okay. We don't make blue steel, right? No. We don't make blue steel. Okay, let's do this. What AE discs do we have? I think there's around 1664Ks. Uh, 10 4Ks and 1 1K. Ah, oh, you're back, so things are going very well. We're just about to get into ZPM, I think. Kinda. No, I can't say that yet. We, <laughs> we got the Quata Coils, we're working on Enderium. Probably pick up the next tier 6 circuit. And then shoot for su Superconductor Wire, I think. Okay, this is where we're making HSSG. Let's do it separately. Let's just make things separate. Let's get some more interfaces. Okay, we start with blue steel. Okay, steel dust we have. Black steel we have. Brass we have. Rose gold we have. We don't have rose gold. We do have brass though. Do we have black steel dust? Yes. We definitely have steel dust. Okay, we just need rose gold for this, which is gold and copper. Don't we make that over here? Here? I guess that's black bronze, okay. Mixer gives us five, crafter gives us five, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to move over our space. Okay, so you are going to make rose gold. Oops. Limit the output inventory. for one stack as usual this will be insert blue okay <laughs> don't we make that over somewhere I know where everything is here mostly mostly <laughs> don't quote me on that don't test me on that 
Okay, one more for blue steel. Uh, brass, black steel, steel. La, lass, brass, black steel, steel. That's two black steel. Oh, I picked up black steel twice. Blue steel, excellent. Everything is going to be passive here. Don't connect, okay. What's the story behind Omni and Nomi? Yeah, you yeah, you guys are right. So Damien originally developed Omni Factory. And Exa actively worked on the pack and while well, Damien took a break. And then Damien came back and Exa and Damien uh didn't agree on something, so they went their separate ways. Exa continues to develop Nomi Factory, the version we're playing. And Damien keeps Omni Factory. So it's a continuation of development of Omni Factory. Almost the same pack, but yeah, there's been a few uh, balance changes and things along the way. A few new additions. Okay, lead and plat. I don't think we make lead. Oh no, we get lead dust from ore processing, so that's fine. Osmium dust. Platinum dust, I know we have platinum dust. And resonant cloth rates. We buffer those, right? Yeah, we do buffer those. Lead, platinum, resonant, osmium. Indirium. I'm going to skip this. <laughs> All right. We can hide this. Last thing is storage bus. I did put downgrades on all of these, right? Yeah. Okay, nice.
So now we need primal mana. Yes, primal mana. And Ethereum. Blend. Perfection. What's the difference between Omega and Normal? There's actually a few different versions. There's an STE and there's a... There's also the CEU version. There's, I think there's, if you want to know the specifics, there's a command in the Nomi Discord, I think. Somewhere. Oh wait, not, not Draconium, Enderium. Ah! Yeah, that's it, Justin's got it, I think that's, that's right. Ethereum, nice. So the question is, do we want... Hmm. We could actually do passive circuits now that we have advanced system on chips. If we set up Naquada Dope Bulls. There we go. I almost forgot to reconnect that. Oh my goodness, look at all the Draconium. That's insane. Okay, how much Indirium do we buffer? Like 2k? Did we upgrade Tongue State yet? We didn't upgrade Tongue State. We're still at 3000 though, so that it, it's gonna keep processing. Don't you need to call Rose Gold in the interface? Did I miss that? It's quite possible that I did. You are... Mm, technically it's going to be okay because these crafters can pull from adjacent inventories and the rose gold is the one next to this one. So it's going to pull from here but I'm still going to add it. Just for things to be consistent. Yeah, sure. Okay, do we set up this or Yeah, 
You may not be able to take advantage of the advanced system on chip yet. This takes Eevee. Oh, that's right, this takes ZPM Assembler. Hey, Devlin. Love your videos. Thank you. Time to make socks. Uh, do we want socks? <laughs> do we want socks or not? I think at the very least we set up Naquada, right? Let's set up Naquada. This is what? Ivy? Oh, look how quick everything is to craft. Did I place the, the controller? I did. Inverted. Okay, this does need a fluid as well, right? Fluid input. Input boss, hello? Thank you. Let's make 10. Oh, they're back. <laughs> It took a while this time. It took a while this time. I was lost in uh, picking the wrong input bus here. This one, this we want is Argon. Uh, actually, we we can't do this. We need to do limited item filler, and this has to be LV because it's a double input for items. Oh, was it silicon blocks? Nine blocks of silicon in an aquada. Oh, that's right, we don't make blocks of silicon. Ah, we need to sort that out. Yeah, we do need to sort that out. Where do we make silicon? Are you close with the pack divs? I'm familiar with Exo who was in earlier on, yeah, is a pack div. I'm familiar with them though. I know I know of Neve and Dan. I don't know them. I, I don't I don't really know them. What am I looking for? Silicon. Over here.
Hmm, how do we want to manage this? Hold on, let's lock this before we place it. No, wait. What am I doing? We need to smelt it first. This doesn't give us blocks, does it? No, of course, we have to smelt it first. Are we passively making silicon ingots? Why is there an EBF that's turned off and apparently has zero ingots? Where? Oh, this one. This is palladium. Don't worry about that. This is palladium, yeah. We're still we're still really good for palladium. 21 buckets, and I started this with 26. So that's carried us like a week with like four buckets used, so it's good. Don't worry. <laughs> That was a good spot though. Okay, did we make silicon ingots anywhere? You know, after just saying I know where everything is. You guys know if we make silicon ingots anywhere? I don't think we do. I think I batch crafted those. Mm, I don't see a drawer for them. Get a furnace. MV is fine. Is there any space here? Yeah. Okay, that should have started the EBF. Lash uploaded? Nice. He started a new pack, really. Oh, is that um, NTC2? I'm at the wrong blast furnace here. Should be here. Wait, why do we have why do we have 13 bills? That's not right. Where's our sil I can't find anything anymore. Where's our silicon bills here there? Oh, that must be when I was moving PAs. Aha, aha, aha. Okay, almost there for the quest. Oh, we're not plugged in here. There we go. So with these, we also want to give these to the cotton machine instantly. There's no use in keeping the bills. We want to keep the wafers so we can just add it here. And that should all be cut down into wafers. Uh-huh. 
And we'll set the level emitter accordingly here. And we actually get 64 at a time from this, which is awesome. We'll set this at 512. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that does unlock socks for us. System on chips. And socks actually unlock the cheapest circuit recipe. So, like for example, tier 1s. We are doing currently this recipe here. Bunch of SMDs. Wafers, boards, fine tin alloy wire. We can actually switch to this one and just use socks, a plastic board, and fine tin alloy wire for 8 circuits. That's basically free. <laughs> That is basically free. But I want to get Draconium first. Alright, I want to get Superconductor first. But let's get the quest first for Manulin and then Draconium Dust. Oh, it has to be a chemical reactor, of course. This has to be a mixer. <laughs> oh, is it going to make us... Wait. Has to be EV and has to be. It can be LV. Let's make an MV mixer. Another EV chemical reactor? Sure. I guess we'll reuse it somewhere. Dragon's Breath? We don't have that, right? No. Okay, Cobalt Ardite Mana Dust. Should have all of that on passive already. Let's make sure to put this on the right line though. Oh yeah, mixer first. MV. I should have made a, I should have made a better mixer. <laughs> Factorio might seem simpler, but the core game is not really the same. Yeah, I would argue... Yeah, it's got similar sort of... Um, a similar sort of route. But it's not really the same game. Oh, how? Wait, we are actually close to fusion. Look at this. What is the fusion reactor like? Do we need draconic fusion is the question. You know, we could actually get fusion today. Assuming we have enough Lumium. That is a lot of Lumium. Should rush superconductors? Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing right now. Yep, we do need we do need Draconium for sure. Or superconductor, I mean. Do it, maximum mind screw. <laughs> For people that missed the stream. Quest? Quest? Oh, 
Oh, come on. It's going to make us do all this. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's get some buckets. Okay, Diesel, where are you? This is called Soft Rubber Hammer. Is it called Soft Rubber Hammer in GTNH? I thought it was Rubber Mallet. Or is that just something I call it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait. Don't blow the auto output. Diesel. It's called Soft Mallet? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, Diesel. Acetic Acid is here? No. Acetic Acid. Ethanone. Wait, we're bottlenecked on ethanone here. Why are we not producing ethanone? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that would uh, that would explain things. I bet I have a pump on here. I do. Well. There's ethanol. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed that. Hey, maybe the quest week just done us a favor there. Thank you, Nomi Factory. Uh huh. Next is. I'm betting ethanone. Tetranitromethane. Okay, nitrogen dioxide is where? Yep. Nitric acid, we can do that. Uh, don't import, please. Tetranitromethane is here. And nitro diesel, I think, is the last one. Yeah. Oh, I can't put that back in the input, can I? Should have unlocked superconductor. Excellent. Chuck into the void. <laughs> I should have done that, honestly. Okay, so now we need molten nether stars, draconium wire, and an IV vacuum freezer. Let's start with the freezer. Fluid extractor, we need a wire mill as well. Energy input hatch, yep.
think FTBI's implementation of Project E was genius. I heard uh, some some rumors that FTBI may be getting up some updates. It's possible. Uh, let's do a ULV output bus. Buffer as few as possible. Okay, input, output. Fluid in input can go here. Energy input IV. IV. Okay, good. Some rivers called Taz. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> A little bird told me. Tier 5. Can you give us a summary of the stream at the start of next episode? I usually try. It's going to be difficult this time though, since we've done so much. But yes, I will, I will for sure. And speaking of next episode, if you guys weren't here earlier on, I think it's going to be... Hold on, what day are we on? This is Monday, right? Yeah, it's going to be Wednesday. <clears throat> Yeah, I want to. I want to draw to buffer draconium. One stack, though. Um. Let's switch this to the other side. That way we can have two draw networks. Or one draw network, I mean. Yeah, this is yeah, this this should work. This should work. Okay, so we want to ask for a draconium here. That is going to go into a wire mill. Let's do a limited item filler. Extract purple. Okay, Draconium Wire. We put this to our Vacuum Freezer with Molten Nether Stars, so we need to ask for Nether Stars. Nether Stars goes here. Actually...
How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? You really like create the best thing that happened to modded in a while. Yeah, I really like playing with create. Create was a lot of fun. Definitely something I want to go back to at some point though. Yeah, but I know. <laughs> Is that Nuclear Coils? Yeah, maybe. It is, in fact, Nuclear Coils, you can see there. How do we want to do this? So, are we fine just letting this buffer, like, I don't know, like two stacks of Nether Stars? No, I don't think I am actually. They are on passive, but our nether quartz, I know for a fact, is not going to be able to handle that. Is it 26k, which looks like a lot, but. Mm. Let's put a machine controller on. On here. That's gonna at least stop some of the over... F the excess. Yeah, 1k, 1000 superconductor, we'll do 1024. 1024 superconductor, this will s turn off. And it won't melt any more nether stars. Alright, plug it in, of course. That means we can put this back. These we want to be placed in here. So we can buffer draconian wire since we use this in conduits. And then, yeah, the input hatch is right next to this. Okay. Can you do a separate ME system storage bus to the input and lev limit? Uh, yeah, we we could technically do that, yeah. You mean storage bus this fluid extractor? I mean, the freezer is fast enough, right? And this is going to be our bottleneck for nether stars. Although, if we do run out of Draconium, this isn't going to help, is it? Maybe you're right, actually. Fluid regulators are a thing, yeah, but it's not the fluid that we want to stop, it's it's the nether stars being melted in the first place. Fluid input. Ah. Okay, what if we... Okay, forget about this for, for a second.
instead of automatically inputting has to go here yeah well fluid storage bus this extract only high priority I want those filters back. Can conveyor modules pull from drawers? It depends what you conveyor module into. We don't have fluid detector covers on this. In here, I mean. It doesn't exist as far as I know. No. Doesn't exist. But we do have fluid level emitters though. Oh, I had one already. Conveyors can I.O. but they don't have any filtering. You know, I always thought they didn't have filtering, but people in the comments said they did. I wanna put this I wanna put this straight in my head right now. They do have filtering. Okay, good to know. That's the wrong cable. Oh, not draconium. No, no, no. <laughs> not draconium. Oh. Oh, what have we done? Yeah, I wanted just to partition that. Okay, that's gonna buffer one in the in here. This we don't want to extract. Yeah, it's because I shifted over everything over one, that's why. Now it should stop. Now it should stop <laughs> once this reaches a thousand. Now it stopped. Yes. We can actually go even lower. Yeah, that used like a thousand quarts to fill the buffers, but that's okay. Okay, <laughs> uh, we'll sort out that draconium in a second. Let's fix the wire mill.
Okay, that fills that. Yeah, extract on purple, insert to the drawer. The input boss is behind this. Output boss is here, output superconductor wire. Do we want a full drawer of superconductor? Can't wait for the final tier of conduits. I know, I know, it's going to be insane. What are we at right now? We're at 362 million RF per, or like this whole base. I think it's going to go above a million, or a billion. Easy. Easy above a billion. Need a storage boss and a controller, that's a good call. So now we have superconductor, which is the max cable. And we can also, well, we can make max machines with this. Max machine hull, we need neutronium though. And the fusion reactor, Mark 1, yeah. Which technically we could craft right now. Mm hmm. Maybe not the rest of the components, but we could get the Mark 1 computer. But yeah, we want energy conduits from this. That, that also reminds me, we should move... That's less than an IV energy orb. Mm, yeah, you're right, actually. Wait a second, how much does the IV battery buffer input? Oh yeah, I guess it depends on battery. Lapatronic crystal is 10 million. IV is 100 million. Wait, no, isn't it 100 million? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a lot anyway. Anyway, I want to also move our, all of our conduits over. Oh yeah, that's right. It's 4 to 1. That's right. I keep forgetting about the conversion. Okay, assembler circuit 1. Don't we have circuit 1 over here? I'm going to actually, we're going to swap out the input buses. We're going to have separate ones. Yeah, let's do separate ones for this. Everything is so rapid, I love it. So this is going to be assembler PA1. Yes. 
the reactor still in a surplus of TBU? I would hope so. I think I'm like 95% confident that is the case. Yes. But we will check. Okay, frames can go here. Don't need you. Don't need this. Cool. Hmm. That is an awful lot of TBU to be running when the energy is... or when the buffer is full. We are still maxed on TBU though. Yeah, we have plenty of TBU to run. It's fine. It's all good. I'll figure out when my AE system goes down. <laughs> nah, we're fine. What is our conduit storage? Yeah, our conduit storage is fine. It's fine. Uh, we do want to move all our conduit recipes though. Can't use a processing array for TBU? Yes, we can. We can indeed. You know what? Rather than wasting this, I don't really want to waste iron butadiene rubber. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. We can absolutely use a uh, processing array for this. Let's put this here instead. I'm totally going to forget about that. That's okay. It's going to use it's going to use that before the stuff that we make fresh. And I want to move all of our conduit recipes. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Here. Okay, where do we put conduits is the question. Probably here. Let's do them in order. What comes first? Conductive iron? Then energetic? Vibrant? End steel? Lumium signalum? What's after Signalum? Indirium. Then Draconium. Then Superconductor. Missing a DDM wire, and that's it, I think. Superconductor. Nice. I don't want to get it all right now, though. 
Too much fuel time for another reactor. Eh. It, that's going to involve a lot of tungsten though, and I don't really want to use our tungsten steel. Mm, I, I don't think it's worth right now. GG on the fact you can make it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> How many conduits do we, do we need total? Oh, that's the other question, right? How many do we need to replace all of this? Which I think we will do before fusion. And then we'll let it build up for the other what? For the, for, I mean, for the coils that we need for fusion. I think we'll do the conduit upgrade first. Okay, anyone good at math here? We need 362,807,296 divided by 524,288. Is it that quick? One circuit, 24, coat the wire. It absolutely will coat the wire. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, let's put it in the one next door then. This shouldn't have any conflict, right? I don't think so, because it's we're on distinct buses, yeah. Show the number again, okay. It's this one here. Six three six two eight oh seven. It's a little bit hard to see like that. Oh, of course it's going to do that. Divided by, f what was it, 524? 524288. There should be one number. <laughs> yes, divided by, yeah. 692. 692, how far away are we? Not 1692. Apparently we don't make conduit binder. Okay. And we also don't buffer enough draconium, but we're only short 150? Six and eighty two, while well, you guys you guys are wizards. <laughs> now let's add, let's add the conduit binder recipe. I can't believe we've not got that yet. Oops. Yeah, we're only missing like a couple hundred. Yeah, we're not far off because it does give you more conduits than it takes to craft the previous tier. We just need to wait on this thing. Yeah, this thing has stopped correctly. That's what we want. Yeah. We. I, I mean, I think we can convert it all today. It's going to be very painful to do, so... Upgrade the Draconian Wire Buffer. I don't know if I want to do that, honestly, because once we upgrade... Once we upgrade all the conduits, we're never going to like request in that quantity. 
Right, any other additions we make is just going to be like maybe a hundred at max. How many of the base conduits? It's not going to tell us because we already have some crafted. Let's request like 4,000 cottonwood binder though, just so that that's done. I guess we also add the recipe for this. Did I see Z? No, I didn't see ZPM there. goes in the cutting machine, assuming we have space. Let's at least pick up our quest. They multiply by eight. I don't think it's I don't think it's linear like that, no. This is one to four and then Oh, one to four? One to four. One to four, one to four. I think it's one to four must be one to four all the way up. Yeah, so you get four times as many output as input at every tier, which is actually quite a good deal. That is quite a good deal. Quest? All right, so tier six. Do we go for tier 6? Uh, uh huh. Alright. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep, what do we get out of this at least? Dragon eggs, stabilized Einsteinium. I forgot what this is used for. Oh yeah. And we get way more osmium iridium, that's right. We get way more osmium and iridium out of this. Yeah, first source of dragon eggs and stabilized Einsteinium. Also useful for, useful for uranium-238, not something we use in very large quantities. Iridium and osmium. So what here do we not have? This is also made in the blue table. Wait, is there anything else we need to prioritize right now for blast furnaces, etc.? No, we got bulls, we got indirium. We got an Aquada. Do we need any extra metals for this? No, this is Niobium Titanium. We're good. We are good for that. <clears throat> How many tiers are there? You mean of conduits? Nine tiers of conduits. You could probably get it. I think we can actually get tier 6 today as well. Hold on. Well, we get more iridium and osmium, and I think we are... Not short on those, but... <laughs> they do take a very long time to craft, and I know that we do need them, so... I kind of want to go and grab that, just for... Just to get a couple of stacks of that at least started.
Although I have a feeling we'll have to do some other upgrades first. Yep, so we add the recipe first. Uh, let's see how badly we're in the hole here. Three items. Okay, all of this we can unpin. Field generators, IV, resonant thrusters, and Indirium Microminer engine cores. Let's start with these because I know we can get these. Done. Okay. Engine thrusters, I think, is just a matter of adding a recipe. Is there anything else we miss from this? No. Okay, so that just leaves these guys. And I have a feeling we don't have high enough tier alloy smellers. Added your guide for episode 10, setting up the Microminer mission. Quest into the Nomi Discord. Oh. Not gonna lie, this is the first time I've you've spent time watching the stream. That's how good you are with videos. This still takes so long. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel kind of... I feel kind of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I feel kind of reinvigorated. These are late. These should be... When it comes to making videos, I mean. Assembler, alloy smelter. Only EV, we need at least IV. Are we going to get caught out here? Is the question. Do we need, like, a ZPM recipe somewhere? That's what, MV, MV. MV. MV, MV, I don't see anything. I'm tempted just to go all the way up to IV on these. Oh, that's tungsten steel wire. Of course it has to be. <laughs> Once you upgrade conduit network though, yeah, that's right. Hmm, okay. Do we go with 8 or do we go with like... Or maybe we just go with 4. Four, 
If we go with four, we don't have to upgrade any power right now. What's the end goal on this pack? Create a vending. This guy. Okay, well, there's alloy smelters at IV. We lose the ability to craft four more extra recipes at once, but... I'll take it. Oh yeah, put some apples in here just because <laughs> it's always two input items, but I don't want to make all the recipes like 64 or whatever like we did before. This works as well. Oh, don't don't worry about Shadow. He keeps he keeps me in check. <laughs> Even dur during the vein dur journey. Um, can we make tier six? Would you look at that? Wait, is there any prerequisites first? No. Well, is there anything else we need for this? LUV micro minor mission. Hmm. Mm hmm. We do have to overclock this. Yep, yeah, yeah, we're only IV here. Energy input IV. No, LUV, I mean. Correct? Yes. Can we do double energy or item input? Yes. Okay. Let's just add another one so that we don't have to try to spaghetti all the cable in that one corner. Okay, export bus, crafting card, redstone card, and level emitter. can do like this I think yeah let's go and get our piece of paper and there's two missions for this right there's three missions for this all right shadow 
no worries. So micro minor. What are we calling them? Tier six. One is going to be ores. One is going to be stabilized Einsteinium, and one is going to be dragon eggs. I couldn't type anything there. I don't know what happened. Tier six. Is that how you spell it? It is now. <laughs> I know what it means, that's the most important thing. Okay, we have three of those now. These A2 processors is probably one of the biggest bottlenecks we have right now. But even then, it's not really that much of a bottle bottleneck. Right spelling? Oh, nice. How much RAM do I have? I have 32 gig, but you can definitely run it on way less. Nomi is one of the most, or one of the lightest packs out there, really, considering the amount of mods there are. There are. I mean, to be honest, there really isn't that many mods because it's almost all Greg Tech and stuff. Okay, redstone card, active with signal. We'll do the ore recipe first. Crafting card, ores. Ores, ores, yep. Plug it all in. One more here. This one will be Einsteinium. That one's done. This one will be the eggs. I meant well item is crafting, yes. My goodness, look at that. <laughs> that is a work of art right there. Okay, let's just double check our work here. Okay, micro minor ores, emit when crafting. Emit with signal ores, yes. Einsteinium, emit well redstone. I mean, I met Will Crafton, active with Signal and Stanium. Eggs, eggs, good. Just needs tomato sauce, basil, and parmesan. Yep. We just need these recipes now. So, this is the ores mission. This one is Einsteinium. This one is the egg. Yeah, and these go in our interface. You know you can hook up the export buses anywhere? Yeah, you could do that technically anywhere. As long as you have the patterns next to the microverse projector, yeah. It's possible. But, I mean, where else would we fit these in? <laughs> it's better to keep it all in one spaghetti place than trying to put it elsewhere. Okay, wait, did it craft? Hey, look at that. Tier 6. 
It's large microverse next? Yes, that's right. I don't think we're, well, we're definitely not getting that today. Wow. So we, so just to recap here, we've all made the assembly line. We unlocked LUV, we bought, we got our first tier five miner. That allowed us to get Naquada. We got Naquada coils, we got Enderium smelling. Upgrade the alloy smelters to get the tier six micro miner. We got Naquada bulls on passive, we got Draconium and get smelling. And we got superconductors. I think next stop is fusion. Wait, is it fusion or is it something else first? I think we might need, do we need ZPM for fusion? Check the conduits. Yeah, that's a good point. Although I am going to send a tier 6 mission for ores since we already have it crafted. With our realm data, we're getting out of here, right? Yes. Let's send the ores mission. Some stabilized uranium. Yeah, we can do all this. Just double check it is actually crafting. Make sure we didn't mess up any of the wiring. We do have a big output boss on this, right? Yeah, EV. Yeah, let's see if we can upgrade our conduits then. What was the number? 693? Oh yeah, Draconium Wire. I don't want to upgrade the buffer though. I'm going to just do this. Let's go for 700. Yeah. Oh, and it's doing it super quick. Oh, look at this. And there's only four assembly machines in here as well. Oh, yeah. That is a lot of conduits. Is this pack for players new to modded? If you're new to... If you're completely new to modded, then... Probably best not to start with a Greg Tech pack, unless that's ex explicitly what you're interested in, is Greg Tech. If that's the case, then this is definitely the best Greg Tech pack to start with, for sure. Aha, we got all 700. Okay, here comes the pain. Okay, wait, is there anything, like, critical that we can't unplug? Because power will go out here for a good 15 minutes. No, I think, I think we're okay. Oh, 
Oh boy, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I did unplug the, the numismatic dynamos just to save on diamonds. So we're running completely off reactors now. And in fact, let's start over here. Well, that's it now. Everything is turned off. Okay, guys, this is your this is your moment. <laughs> Tell me if I missed a con yet. What's the best? Which way first? Let's go this way. I'm trusting that your guys' math is correct and that we have enough so that we don't have to prioritize power in the AE system. <laughs> Plug in AE2 first. Yeah, that would be the sensible idea. But I trust that the math is correct. Then we should and we should have enough in our inventory to power everything. Okay, just the reactors to go here. Actually, you know what? We should really turn this off. This conduit here. Well, no, because it's going to take forever to fill the buffer. Now, let's leave it plugged in. Does anyone know, remember that number I gave you the, the first time, the conduit buffer, so that we can compare? Was it 300 million, something like that? Place your bets what we're going to go up to in conduit storage. I'm going to bet over 2 billion. 362? Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, I think all this stage is done, right? There's going to be a huge buffer. Yeah. Not enough to fill a full draconic reactor ball. Nowhere near enough for that. But it's going to be huge, nonetheless. Oh, that's another stack gone. Still streaming? Yep, still going. I don't believe I missed a con yet so far. I have been looking at chat every so often though. <laughs> Guess is at least two. Yeah, I, I think, I think you're right. How much above two though is the question?
At least one above two. What's with the one grass block? It's so that we can say that we've got a lawn base. <laughs> we've got a lawn base here. As in billion, yeah, as in billion. Because we had 360 million and we're upgrading two tiers. Draconic through... No, Signalum through Draconic through Superconductor. Actually, there's Enderium in there, mixed in there as well. Oh, it, it doesn't feel like we're, four stacks is going to be enough, does it? That seems really low. Compared to the amount we've got still got left to cover. Missed one here. Your bet is around 93 billion. 93, that seems a little bit high. Okay, we got the top ones. There's none underneath, okay. Oh boy. I just really don't want to miss one at DML. That would be devastating. Like hours down the line and you realise you've got no no ender pearls left. <laughs> Especially at this stage. Oh, no, the rain probably doesn't help the stream bit rate either. Okay, I think we got them all here. Missed one in the middle? Yes, I did. I missed two in the middle. Okay, I'm going to scan through. You guys see anything here? None on this row. We got them all, we got them all. Yes. And all the connections down here. It looks good to me. Just these to go. Get a wrench, that is a very good call. I don't think we have one of those. Was it an iron gear? Yeah. Missed one leading to the PAs, did I really? Oh wait, the over there doesn't have power. We can't craft gears. Oh wait, I must have still had some of the buffer, yeah. Energy conduits, that's what we want. Uh oh. No, I didn't want to disconnect that. <laughs> oh no, what did I just do there?
Looks like we can't offhand this, okay. I think I missed one here. Okay, I'll have to go and check the PAs then. But that's something that's easy to spot if we miss it. Because, I mean, nothing's going to craft that way. But DML, on the other hand, we're not going to notice till it's too late. <laughs> okay, this should be the last row, I think. I don't see that I've missed any. How many simulation chambers can be supported on one loot fabricator? 19.66. No, other way around. 19. Yeah, 19 of these can be. 19.66 of these can support one of these. Okay, let's continue on. I didn't forget about the PAs, we'll go back for that. Wait, why is there power over here? I'm stuck. We don't need power here. Hey Mayo, I'm doing really, really well, really well today. Had a good gym day this morning. We're progressing through Nomi. I'm going to go underneath first. Is this the last stack? I think we're on the last stack, yeah. Almost there. The charger? Oh, you mean at the reactor? Didn't we plug that back in? I'll go check that as well. Not forget the atomic reconstructor like the last upgrade. Uh-huh. Pointless cable. More pointless cable. Everything looks okay. This is getting power, right? Yeah. Okay, apparently I missed one at the PAs here. Let's check that. Aluminum or aluminium? I mean, obviously it's aluminium. There's an I next to the UNM. Ah, here. Well spotted. Anywhere else? Let's check the reactor. I think we did plug that back in, right? Yeah. I assume it's still filling buffers. And we have a lot of Signalum energy conduits left over now. Okay, buffer, what do you guys think? Place your final bets. Five billion, ninety-three, twenty-four, two hundred fifty million. There's so many different numbers here. Some of you guys are going to be way off. Two point five, four billion. Okay, let's see. 
91 billion RF. Ninety one billion eight hundred four million nine hundred twenty five thousand nine hundred fifty two. Now that is insane. <laughs> and we only have thirty is this thirty million? No, we have thirty billion buffered. Easy. Did I miss eight conduits? Did I? Did I? No, we didn't miss it. Oh, it's probably these things right here. Oh no, it wouldn't have been that because we had disconnected them before. The 82 charger. Oh, that yeah, this thing. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you're right. We don't need it though because we power it through. I think. Yeah, we do. Oh wow! Look at that. We're down to 9,000. No, wait, what were we at before? We were at 26,000 of nether quartz, like, 30 minutes ago. Right? Twenty six K, yeah. I definitely want to put a downgrade on this now. Although saying that, we do I mean we do need the we do need superconductors. Probably not a full drawer though. How much is eight? How much is eight stacks? That is eight stacks, right? With two storage upgrades. We'll start with that. <clears throat> Make a quart setup. Yeah. Mm, I'm. We'll see. We'll see if that's necessary pre-tank. How to take out one item at once? It's shift right click the item. Wasn't it saying 256? Yeah, it's 256 because that's where it is with two, two upgrades without the down raid. Show the creative ending. It's definitely a creative ending upgrade. Craft. It definitely looks like creative ending. Yeah, it's no joke. There is, um, yeah. Oh, that, you know what? That reminds me. Opinium cores. These things all the way down at the bottom, we have red coal. We have red coal and passive here. We do need speed upgrades though. Before it, before it comes time. Nope, we can't do that.
Gonna need quartz post creative tank. Yes, absolutely. Dragon egg mill. I don't know if we can make that yet. Titanium redstone. We could definitely make this. Enderai, Restonia. Uh oh. Alloy smellers. Did I put that in the wrong thing? put it in the wrong interface. Yep, you guys are right. And to get eggs, we just unlocked the egg recipe with the tier 6 microminer. Look at that for some timing. I mean, it's not that great timing. We should have got it earlier. <laughs> we could have went to the end to fight the dragon is, what, is the point. But we will send one for the for the egg mission. Yeah, I mean, what does this really cost us? Like, what is some titanium? But it does really nothing. Some ne nether stars. I guess there is quite a bit of indium in this. And processing time. That that's really. I guess it takes some plutonium as well. That's that's something that we don't have infinite of. Where do we put this guy? Can you fight the dragon egg on peaceful? I don't actually know about that. I heard that you can, and it does still spawn. I am actually not sure. Okay, I bet our alloy smelters are broken right now. No, they're just slow. That's okay. You need a new drawer when you change GP power gen? Do you really? No, it's... It seems to still be stacking. Let's find out. Okay, what's next on what's next on our list? I guess it was to get some dragon eggs. <laughs> yeah, we need this for growth medium for wet wear boards. No, for this first we need a ZPM assembly machine. Can we get this ZPM assembly machine right now? Let's find out. 
But I know that we can get the next tier 6. Tier 6 here. We want to remove these two recipes as well. We shouldn't really have those. Yeah, that's the first tier 6. We don't use this recipe anymore. This is a tier 5. We don't use this. Third tier 6 we can craft. Did I put that in the right one? No, this should be an LUV. Now you have more power in the line, you can put six more alloy smelters. Well, not exactly. Tier 6 circuits. Not exactly. The reason why is because we are transforming from EU, no, RF to EU, and that's in a 4 to 1 ratio. It depends what type of CEF we have here. This block transforms the power. Plus, we only have IV energy hatches on here. Do you have to wait around for stuff a long time? Uh, not if you plan ahead, no. I, there's not really anything we're waiting on, so to say, right now. Yeah, we could we could technically upgrade, but I'm going to save our materials. Especially tungsten steel, stuff like that. Let's see if we can get the crystal processor arrays. Okay, what here don't we have? Just the processing pattern, I believe. Right? Maybe draconian plates. I don't think we have the recipe for this. I think we have everything else. High power ICs, we don't have this. But we do have... We do have the wafers on passive though. Where would they be? Here. They just have to be... Yeah, they just have to be cut. Nice. Hello, Static Shiv. So, Tier 7? Second Tier 7? Yes. <laughs> did I did I remember to filter everything here? Yeah, we just need solar and alloy. This is LUV, which our assembly line already is. Nice. Any second now we're going to see this. Oh, and we got our first dragon eggs. Quest complete. Oh, he wants all 32. I'm glad I checked that. There we go. Dragon egg mill achieved. Remove the other tier 7. Oh, the mainframe. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Let's double check this red alloy though. Oh, no, it did stack there. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Tier 7 circuits. Uh huh. Let's remove the mainframe. Oh yeah, speed upgrades. Hmm. 
Yes, you guys are right. First tier eight, can we make the first tier eight? The answer to that is not yet. However, we can make crystal team components. Yes. We have high power ICs, we just made these. We have all the SMDs, we have Indirium wire. We have pressing crystals on demand. Yeah, we have those. We do not have HSSE. It's only in dust form. Okay, so we need a blast furnace for this. And if we set up HSSE, we might as well set up HSSS. So this has to be at least HSSG coils. 600 seconds at MV, so I think we'll just share on this. We fit two blast furnaces here? No is the answer. Well, it looks like it's going here then. Been watching on and off, enjoying all the excellent videos. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Batteries. For more EVS, yep. When will you pass with microminers? That's going to be after Creative Tank. After we have all the fluids, then we pass with the microminers. <clears throat> You'll see. I think maybe. I think we can get tank this week, honestly. I'm going to say this week we get tank, because, like, what do we have left to do, right? We have... We have tier 7 and 8s to launch. Wait, this is tier 7. No, this is tier 9. Yeah, tier 7, 8, and 9 to launch. We have to get our hands on some Awakened Draconian. We have to automate Draconic Evolution. And also set up Fusion. And then one tier 10. Mm, oh, that's right. We do need to wait on Neutronium, though. That's right. Ah, Neutronium. That's going to... Neutronium is, our, is the major bottleneck to, uh, to tank. Because we need one of these things. This is all Neutronium heavy plating. And Neutronium we can only get from a fusion reactor. With this recipe here, Americium Nequadria. And we get two millibuckets per. Do you need the implosion compressor? I believe you do, yeah. Somewhere, I don't remember. What is this, Ivy? Recently found Divine Journey. Oh, Divine Journey was so good. I was going back to watch that, actually, because a few people pointed out some things on Discord. I was going back to check some videos. Man, I miss playing Divine Journey. That was, that was so fun. But thank you. What version are we in? We are in the development version of Nomi Factory. You can check Discord, either my Discord or... Nomi's Discord for a link. It'll take you to their GitHub page. DJ one time? Nah. I don't really have any intention of playing DJ one. 
what is it, 26 coils? Yeah. Would I play DDSS? No intentions of playing that pack, honestly. It's needed for fusion? Wait, is it? It's needed somewhere. I I, <laughs> I can't remember where. I, I just know we need it. Ah. How many blast furnaces have we done today? It's a handful at least. This is the output boss, yeah. Just S E insert brown H S S S Yep. Blast Farns are killed, cool. Blast Farns are awesome. Is there major changes? Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's more than enough to warrant going to update, yeah. I would say so. I think Exa mentioned it was two years behind. Oh, we've already started here. Yeah, something like two years behind development. Something like that. I didn't think it was that far off, though, for Nomi specifically, but uh, I don't know. Literally speaking, blast furnaces are not cool. Yeah, <laughs> you have a point there. They're the the opposite of cool, especially these ones at the end here. Put the flukes away. Okay, we should be getting HSS E or S any second now. No, dev version is not on Curse, no. You can find it on Discord. Okay, which one was this? This is S. We'll do 512. We don't need that much. E S E S Have you thought about Nomi CEU? Perhaps at some point, but I after this it's gonna be a while before I come back to here. Okay, so we need to frame. We need the rod. We need the plate recipe. The 
still got space. One more in the lathe. One more for frames. Done. And you know what? We might as well just do the HSS E frame. Or the S frame. Oh, there's no HSS S frame. A yearly Nomi run? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're missing HSS E. Let's... Let's put what we have through the lathes, because I it's because I've done, done them 64 at a time. We just do this though, it's going to give us the amount we need. Next pack, Nomi see you? No, no, ne not next pack. I'm not saying never, but not next pack. No, uh, no. Wait, what? What did we need this for? Tier eights. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten input items. We can handle that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, barely. Out with one mainframe and with another. Oh, we're three short. Really? Come on, Blast Furnaces. How's it going? It's going awesome. Thank you, Mimo. Okay, we're getting tier 8s. Almost, almost. What else for the ZPMSM machine? I guess we also have the ZPM components, right? Oh, PTFE. We have to make go to hell. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I don't actually think we have any methane left. Nope, we are turning all of our methane into hydrogen. Um, <laughs> this is a bit of a problem. This is a tiny bit of a problem. Uh, what is the, what is the way to get hydrogen? I mean, there is water electrolysis. Did we really set up a PA for this? PA for water electrolysis? Logs, methane, hydrogen. That seems so slow though compared to this. Yeah, PA water electrolysis. That seems... 
Do we really though? <laughs> I mean, that means we can save methane if we do it this way. And I'm tempted to go IV. Did I check this time? I did indeed. I did indeed. Can can anyone overclock the water recipe? Anyone got the calculator on their ha on hand? Seventy five LV with a thirty eight EU per tick recipe, so it's two point eight seconds per tier. I'm going to start with four IV electrolyzers so that we can add to them later and we don't have to rebuild from EV. Let's put on ZPM energy hatches. Uh, no, we can't because we need PTFE for this. Okay. No, that's fine. We'll go double IV since we're only doing four machines. 1.25 seconds IV. Gas tier plus water? That doesn't exist here. That's not a thing. <laughs> CEF at IV. Uh oh. Oh no, that's just a recipe. We're fine. We're fine. This one is in the wrong interface anyway. This should be tier 6. Alright, let me make a tier 5, tier 6. Methane split is 40 buckets per second at IV. I think at this stage it honestly is better to do water split and PA. Put this in here. Wait, what? this one. Yeah. Oh, and we don't have space here. We don't have space. That one's the reactor one. One or two more.
Easy. Base building 101. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's put it on this side. CEF. IV. Superconductor coil. Or conduit. Gotta head off for a bit. Yeah, I'll, I don't know if I'll be streaming much longer, but thank you. Thank you. Okay, what do we get from this? We get water and oxygen, right? Our water and oxygen, hydrogen and oxygen, yeah. So we need two outputs. And I think they'll have to be at least HV. Let's double check. Two buckets, one bucket. Yeah, yeah, HV will cover it. Whenever this song plays, you go into the video as ending mode. It's soon, soon. <laughs> I think after we fin finish this, we'll... Uh... What did I just craft there? No. Input hatch, HV. Let's put the fluid input here. Fluid outputs we'll put here and here. IV pump, sure. Sure. Actually, no, the fluid input hatch pulls as fast as it can, right? Yeah. Record a recap live? Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, just for myself, even. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to manage this next video, by the way. I apologize in advance if it comes out a mess. <laughs> okay, oxygen, hydrogen. We're just too efficient today. Can we make a higher tier quantum tank? Like a black hole tank? You can skip it. Yeah, well, that's why we're going extra long today, because tomorrow there's no video. I'm going to be busy, like, most of the afternoon with other things, so. Did a little bit mining off stream. I mean, you guys are here, right? It's not like I'm doing this all on my own. <laughs> there's always going to be the VOD, so. But I, I know, I know a lot of people don't watch the live streams. Okay, so this hydrogen is going to be high priority. Where else do we make hydrogen? I, I think...
Well, let's first of all remove the methane thing that we're doing. Where is that? Over here? Yeah, methane water. Let's get rid of this. What is this? Epoxy? Yeah. Oh, goodbye, Endervoir. We miss you. This actually should be stone. What are we going to do with this? Let's just pick it up. Void oxygen, yeah I know. I, I didn't forget about this, don't worry. I just want to take down this other setup over here. Methane, hydrogen. What's this? Yeah. Good. How much oxygen are we on, by the way? Just out of curiosity. 74 buckets. Okay, well that is a decent amount of hydrogen. Extract only, high priority. Let's see how quickly it goes. It's going to fill buffers, but... Oh yeah, that's being used. It's all mostly going to electrolysis of tongue state. Store the oxygen. It's all going over here. Process tongue state and she light. Quantum tank the O2? Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. That's probably best practice. We are getting a lot of oxygen though, yeah. Mm, I don't know if this perfectly round robins to be honest. Because this thing pushes. Maybe it's best to go into a steel drum first. Because we do definitely want to trash excess here. Is this going to bottleneck our machine though? Hmm, this doesn't... I don't know if this is fast enough. Is 
There we go. We may as well fluid storage bus this. Yeah, it's good like this, I think. It's going to go from here, prioritized here, trash excess, all the hydrogen goes here. Yeah. So, methane, we're going to get from distilling something. Actually, how much light and heavy fuel do we have? None. No, we have... Wait, how do we have more light fuel than heavy fuel? Refinery gas into methane? Is it worth to steam crack it though? I mean, do we really need ethylene at this point? Or helium? Hydro crack? No, hydrogen is the one thing we want to save. Although, we, we do ha now have a surplus of hydrogen, right? We're gonna need a lot of helium. I think we're gonna mine the moon for helium though. Or is that deuterium you can get from the moon? I guess we can just centrifuge refinery gas. Should we just do this instead? It's helium-3. Alright, it's helium-3. Should we just centrifuge this? Because, I mean, I can't see us really using this, to be honest. Grab the helium. Uh, I don't know, like... I mean, we're at... We have a decent amount of helium. Hydro crack it. Okay, wait, if we hydro crack refinery gas. We're gonna get helium, hydrogen, and methane. And it's slightly negative on hydrogen. We get 1.3 buckets back, and we spend two buckets to hydro crack. Oh, should we really? We've already been going six hours. Should we really? <laughs> Wait, this is not the right circuits. Tier three. One more thing. Hydrogen is whatever. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. No recipe for clean stainless.
Might as well do EV, right? Let's put this on top instead. Uh, hydrogen? Gonna miss so much in the vids, yeah I know. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. There's no way I would be able to get this all in one video though. Dream summary and go to hell. <laughs> uh, we're we're kind of like too far gone at this point. There's too much that's happened. Refinery gas. Uh. How did we do it over here actually? Now this is oil, right? Yeah. I also want this over a block. When's GTNH coming back? Wait, why did that get stuck? Soon TM. This can't go here. Recipe conflict, I guess. No fluid fillers. I mean, not that it really matters, but... Hydro cracked refinery gas. How many outputs do we get? Three?
next Sunday. Uh, I get. I, so I'm like, the more time I've taken away from GTA, the the harder I'm finding it's going to go back. It, the harder it's going to be to go back to that series. Do we have one year for methane. Doesn't seem like you have much left to do. Oh no, there's plenty to do left at NH. It's going to be disappointing if you end up being beaten. I know. I <laughs> it's always going to be hanging over me if I don't finish that. And I'm going to be that guy that doesn't finish anything. Wait, hold on. We need to sell the workbench. I already forgot which one it is now. This one. Yeah, so we want to name this for hydrogen. The other one was helium. How do we wire this up? Speaking of GTNH, Taz still needs to tell me where our miners are. I thought you didn't play GTNH anymore, Trox. Subnet. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, that probably messed with a whole lot of stuff. No hydrogen or methane. Oh, it's going. Okay. Next update is going to break a ton of stuff.
Well, here's the thing. I did... Why does this not work anymore? Oh, we need... We need this knot to connect right here, because this is a subnet. Okay, so, refinery gas. Hydrogen. Okay, done. <laughs> Okay, we should be building a lot of methane now. Nothing should be touching here, right? No, I think we're fine. Yeah, and we're gonna build helium. Ready for next episode. So I think I think we're gonna leave this here. Why are you using interfaces? Yeah, it's better for TPS, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wrap things up here. It's been a bit long. I've uh, lost focus the last 30 minutes here. But it's been six and a half hours, which is kinda crazy. Thank you, by the way, if you tuned in all the way all the way through. But we did make some very, very nice progress. We're almost at Fusion. Almost at ZPM. I think maybe next episode we can get Fusion. We will see on that. 20 minute summary next episode. I don't know how I'm going to piece that all that together. That's a problem for future me though. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy, I'm going to take a break for now though. But I think, I don't think we missed anything, right? Before, before we go, we didn't miss anything. Is there not a clean room? No clean room here. We did miss this, Draconium. What do we want to do with this? Actually, do we have one free over here? Okay. That'll do. <laughs> Good old future three, yeah. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of work to do. Me, I'm fine. I can see this filling up, honestly. Build one more fission. I don't know if we will, honestly. We may switch to to solar. I did a little bit of insert huge montage. No, I don't think I will do that, honestly. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling here. <laughs> I'm going to leave the stream here. Thank you guys so much for your support recently. On Nomi Factory. On previous series in Discord. I'll see you guys all on Discord. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Anyways. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. It will be Wednesday though, not tomorrow.
Have a good one.